Sonia is here with today's health check, and today we're asking you to just calm down, focus a little bit because uh, you two have been hanging out a lot. I see we have been. Mm -hmm. You're too like much probably very much in sync. We've been hanging out too much and at the <laughs> wrong hours. But yes, uh, we're talking about meditation today, and I was asking you during the break how good you are at this because it's tough to master. Well, and I said everyone's good at it. All you've got to do is practice really. Um, today is World Meditation Day, so I thought of this acronym to sort of teach you how to meditate. It's SIT, and S stands for settle. We can't stop busy thoughts like a light switch, right? So uh, just take a few deep breaths, try to settle, relax in a comfortable space. Uh, the I is for intention, so you want to focus on something that will bring peace and happiness and well-being to everyone. Your thoughts may wander, that's totally common, but keep coming back to that intention that you set. And a bonus really here is you can make it about more than yourself. And T is for time. So as I was telling Jason, you gotta start small, like five minutes, and then over time that'll become easier. You'll do eight minutes, then 10 minutes, um, and it, it'll really become enjoyable as well. So you can set your phone to do not disturb, set an alarm with chimes or something soft that isn't jarring. And really here's what meditation can do for you. Brain and health experts from the University of Wisconsin and The Ohio State University say meditation controls anxiety, reduces stress, lengthens attention span, improves sleep, and can decrease blood pressure. So mm. thanks to my friends from the Kadampa Meditation Center right here in downtown Dallas for your help with that. Hmm. All right, uh, making your own sunscreen at home may save you money, but may not actually protect you and your family. Researchers at the Nationwide Children's Hospital studied do-it-yourself sunscreen recipes that were posted on Pinterest. They found nearly all of the pins claimed some level of sun protection, even up to SPF 50, but none of those can be proven. So they suggest sunscreen sold in stores because they're proven effective by the FDA. As parents, we want to think we're providing the best for our children and there is a growing movement of wanting all of those products to be natural and organic and that implies safe and non-toxic but that's not always the case. Okay, so if you have any doubts or concerns about a sunscreen, just ask your pediatrician what's right for your children and that's your health check. I feel calmer just listening to that. I was actually practicing those steps while you were. You can literally do I it. Was. You can. You can do it just by standing. Next commercial break, it's all you, Jason. <laughs>